Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I've taken these nine foot tall cedar wooden angel wings and added some glitter and some sparkle to them for Christmas. Hope you enjoy the video. All right, so this is the palette of cedar shingles. I used two palettes. They're about 16 bucks each. Some Gorilla Glue, some hot glue, some paper, a roll of paper. So I put it on the wall to kind of figure out my pattern. Once I have my pattern, I cut it out on my roll of wire. And then I cut out both of them. Then I decided it probably wasn't strong enough to hold the cedar shingles, so I added some cardboard. Then I needed to hot glue the cardboard and put some Gorilla Glue. And if you see that bottle of Malibu, just mind your business. All right, and then these are the cedar planks. So I kind of divide them into large, medium, all the way down to the small. And as you can see, on one end they're thicker and on one end they're thinner. Some people call them shims. They're kind of like that. They're very soft on the end, so you can cut them with a heavy duty pair of scissors. Um, and what I did was just kind of arch little notches in them to kind of make it look like feathers and you can see how soft it is. You can just pull them right off. And I went down each side just cutting little angles like that making them look just like feathers. So it's time consuming but you can see the reward is definitely worth it. So each plank has got to be cut like that. I thought about doing it with the jigsaw, but the jigsaw absolutely just destroys them because they're too thin. And there you have it. And you don't have to go all the way down to where it starts to get thick because number one, it's hard to cut, and number two, it gets hidden by layering of the feathers. And each one is just a little bit different, so they don't have to be identical. And you can see the stack that I have to do. Got them sectioned out small to large. And boom, it's done. Wasn't that fast? Ooh, I wish it was that fast. <laughs> it was kind of time consuming. So then I started on the floor. I kind of laid them around on my cardboard to kind of place them and then I took my hot glue gun and started working, layering, making sure that they're stuck to the cardboard really well. And the hot glue worked really well for me. And because it dries instantly, you're able to, you know, pick up the wings and move them around. If, it, if I would use the Gorilla Glue or caulk or any other medium like that, I would have had to wait 24 hours for it to dry. So I was pretty happy with the hot glue. And the cedar shingles were so light that they're actually very easy to handle. So then I put it on the wall so that I could see better that they were even on each side and then I just started working from one side to the other. Good Lord, I need a tan, don't look at my legs. But you can see how beautifully they fit and I was a little worried going from the outside in that the thicker pieces on the end were gonna cause a problem when I got to the center of the wings, but it actually did not. It was more like a jigsaw puzzle just kind of coming together. This is the first time I've done any kind of a project like this, so I really didn't have you know, in a, a, 
perfect idea of what I was doing. I was just kind of eyeballing it and going as I went. I especially love this work of art on my wall because of the palette wood and it's just a light lighter shade of you know than my palette wood and I just think it looks so pretty on my wall here's another fun fact about this project it costs less than $50 to make um, that's two pallets of shingles tools hot glue everything included um, it's a very portable project. It actually hangs on the wall like a photograph with a picture wire. So you can pick it up, move it, store it, and it's relatively light. I wanna say each wing weighs under five pounds. Most of the feathers I did leave all one length, but the closer I got to the inside of the wings, I actually had to cut the cedar shingles in half so that it would be shorter, so it wouldn't have so much wood to work with. It's got smaller and smaller towards the middle. Okay, and while the wings are gorgeous, just as they are in cedar, I decided to do them up a little bit for this Christmas. So I took them outside and I started spray painting with a white spray paint until I felt like they were just whitewashed. Not completely covered, just kind of whitewashed. And there you have the finished wing. It's not glossy, it's a matte. So at this point, I am uh, Mod Podging the edges and I'm adding a, an iridescent glitter and a silver glitter, just to the very edges. Then I went to the Dollar General and got some tinsel garland and I cut it in little pieces just to kind of hide because once I painted it white, you could really see the holes. So I started to add some silver tinsel just to take up space and give it some extra fluff. And there you have it, the 3D wings. They're nine foot tall. They sparkle in the light. They're absolutely gorgeous. And thank you so much for watching my video. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Have a great day.